Hello guys, it's me Carms, and this is a Cap Carn F5, and I have some uh, breaking news so far. And as you've heard last week, Haley Deacon is moving from NASCAR to the Indy NXT series, driving for HMD Motorsports, in the guy of Tony, who gave Haley Deacon an opportunity to do like a test session somewhere like I forgot the name of the racetrack but the guy in Tony that's his last name T-O-N-E-Y it's not a guy I kind of not know very well but he, he gave her a chance to actually see if she can make it you know and what do I want to say yeah, as you guys know, Haley Deegan next month is going to Dakota in Austin, Texas to run a Formula America, American series to actually uh, see if she can adapt to open wheel. So, and before I get to that topic, I want to mention Jamie Chadwick. So, I was on Chad GPT to make sure I know what her 2025 plans are. And and I believe she's going to move up to IndyCars, depending on a, how she does in a test session. But once again, I don't know which track she will be testing on. But all confidential aside, <laughs> I believe Jamie Chadwick might be open to Indy NXT, depending on sponsorship. But otherwise... We may see it a J <laughs> sorry, Jamie Chadwick and Haley Deegan rivalry, maybe an IndyCar in the future. But like, I know I'm a NASCAR fan at heart, right? But at the same time, I don't really watch IndyCar that much, and F one too. But I was the best in Haley Deegan. In her move after like 2018 to 2024 trying NASCAR, I think it's to say whether she wants to go back to NASCAR, but I think she made her a smart decision to go to Indy NXT and then try to move her way up to IndyCar. We'll see how that goes, and if it doesn't go as planned, the sponsorship money won't dry up, and so. Go back to her roots, which is off-road trucks, with her father, Brian Deegan. So, I know Haley Deegan's uh, younger siblings are into motocross racing, you know, and like I've said before, the Deegans, they are really talented drivers, you know, whether on two wheels, four wheels, or no wheels. Yeah. Yeah, I'd fob blocking because Haley Deegan, Haley Deegan, I don't know. Since he won't be in NASCAR for a while, I may watch NASCAR and root for my guy, Kyle Larson. But know that Haley Deegan does not want to go to tr the Craftsman Truck Series or NASCAR Xfinity until she's ready. So, yeah, I never seen Danica do like, oh, IndyCar, I'll stay here. Well, never mind, I'm going to go back to NASCAR. Yeah, Kenny Wallace made a good point about Haley Deegan and saying that you can't be rubbing fenders in an IndyCar because if you hit the guy, especially the rear tires or the front tire with the wings, like front wing or rear wing, whatever, then your car will break and it's the end of your race, you know. None of these, you know, uh, replaceable wing adjustments you can make during a pit stop. And it may cost you a lap or even five laps, depending on how quick the picker does it. Like, I'm not an expert in any car. My expertise is NASCAR, but 
maybe it affects the suspension settings a lot more in open wheel versus NASCAR because you can get away with it in NASCAR rubbing fenders on the door panel to door panel. So I, I'm planning on putting a thumbnail title that or thumbnail photo of the same one that I analyzed between who the faint yeah, the best female prospect is it Jamie Chadwick or Haley Dagan? And I'll put the same thumbnail photo and title it a little bit differently because I haven't talked about Jamie Chadwick a little bit or rarely, but uh, I first discovered her in a commercial where she was driving an open wheel car. In the mountains that's when I realized oh I must root for her too <laughs> but the good thing is this year she accomplished something that really any female driver in open wheel can do and that is win an Indy and XT race and that was in Road America so I didn't forget that summer <laughs> when I was doing like these uh you know videos and actually I find her kind of charming, but uh, I don't want to choose sides, but I've talked about Haley D more in this video than Jamie Chadwick, but who knows. Maybe Jamie Chadwick might try the Indy 500 next year, 2025, and watch out, Carl Larson fans. He's going to be in the Indy 500 too for another year with Aero McLaren, but anyways... Yeah, I have to put that out there because I'm a Larson fan, so, <laughs> yeah. Jamie Chadwick, she's going to be a superstar, you know. There's the Sarah Fishers, or Danica Patricks, Anna Beatrice, Simone Di Salvistro. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of female drivers I got into NASCAR Cup's version of IndyCar, and... Yeah, I don't know if any of the females tried full-time, but I knew Danica Patrick did for a few years, and she adapted quite well, you know. Well, there was Sarah Fisher in the early 2000s, but it didn't pan out for her. Not much name recognition. But she did try NASCAR. I'm talking about Sarah Fisher, but I heard RCR was the team, but... Nothing came out of that news, but who knows? There's many female drivers that are in your local go-kart go tracks today, and they'll amaze you with good stories of whether or not they enjoy driving fast. So, yeah. I kind of put the meat in the substance in this... Uh, Jamie Chadwick and Haley Dean rivalry and putting all these female drivers together and what do you have? Chadwick and Deegan of 2020 decades. And if they do race in the 2030s, who knows? Maybe they can track NASCAR a little bit, be the road ringers, you know, and uh, lucky for me, I'll still be watching NASCAR by then because I think that's when Larson will retire in. There's one driver I do want to mention, but it's Carson Hosover. He may be my guy in NASCAR, but we'll just wait and see how the NASCAR prospects turn out. Especially those born in the 2000s, 2010s, you name them. But hey, I hope I wish the best in both Jamie Chadwick and Haley Dean. That's his thumbnail title will be called Revisiting Jamie Chadwick and the Haley Deegan Story. So, I make you a happy carnival. Hope you all have a great evening and peace out.